Hi everyone. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to have gained a frog. Um, today we're going to be colouring this little tiny raspberry um, from Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Bassford. We're using um, um, Polychromos Faber Castell and I'm starting with the Alizarin Crimson. Al Al Alizarin Crimson? I don't know. Anyway, what I'm going to do is go over the whole thing with a little layer very light because we need to do some work on it to make them look each little piece shine. Raspberries have quite a shine to them particularly in the sunshine and uh, so we'll, we'll just do that in a moment. Now I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to do quite a hard layer of this pinky colour at the bottom and then leave some pale at the top for that particular one. This one I'm going to go all the way around and leave the light a bit in the middle. I'm going to do that with all of them. Because they're all overlapping each other. There would be shadow underneath the ones that are there already and then um, they would also be a little bit darker at the bottom just um, because of the shape and the way um, each little tiny red ball catches the light. That one I accidentally coloured over so we haven't got any light on that one. Now you could use a white gel pen to create the lighter dots. It gives a very different impact to leaving them um, leaving the paper because the white is brighter so it's up to you it might be easier for you you might prefer the effect I'm just going in because some of these are a bit big oh excuse me sniffing I'm sorry I should have uh, blown my nose before I started anyway raspberries there's a long time since I had any raspberries my husband's been doing the shopping lately because we're only allowed one adult in the supermarket. This might have changed by the time this video goes out actually because I'm filming them so far in advance at the moment. But um, it means that he does most of the shopping so I don't tend to go in and look at things. And so I don't remember what's in season and what's available like. So he just buys the same stuff every week. And although it can get a little dull it's okay. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating. So uh, that's good. Right, so we've completed that. You can see it is quite shiny. Now I'm thinking in between each um, little tiny ball we could emphasize the dark lines between them. Now I would do that if it was a blackberry, which we did when we did our blackberry. Um, which is right up here. Uh, oh, there it is. But because um, I'm looking at the raspberry pictures that I've got and they're very close together, they don't have such a gap between each little ball. So I think the black line that's drawn in is going to be quite enough for us. We don't need any extra. Just need to remove my remote control out of the way so I can see the what colour to do the little stalk. There aren't many ones with stalks on in my pictures, but I'm going to do it the same colour as the leaf, and they're quite pale. So I'm going to grab my May green and uh, and do the leaf and stalk in that colour. I'm going to start with just a light amount, like I have done in a lot of these pictures. And then we'll think about where we're going to want more colour. So it's quite pale. They aren't that pale, so I think I'm just going to add another layer of colour over the whole thing. Just to um, make it look a bit more like it should. And to shade, we'll grab another colour. Um, don't want to go too dark. So I'll grab the permanent green olive. I find they work well together which is why I use them together a lot. And we'll put a little bit of that down there where it would be, there'd be a shadow. And let's have a look at the shape of these leaves, just looking carefully. 
Hmm. Trying to figure out where they might be darker. I'm thinking a little bit darker here and we can make it look as if it's bent slightly in towards the center. If we make it darker there, it looks like there's some shadow. Go over that stalk a few times to really emphasize that it's darker. And it might just give it a little bit of a look of being slightly curled. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. It just still makes it look a little bit more interesting to have this additional colour on it. And that is it. It's very simple, the raspberry. Just hold the page down so you can see it. But I think it looks quite effective. So I hope you've had a go. Remember, when you're doing these smaller images, have a nice sharp pencil. It makes a big difference. And thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.